Good afternoon, students. Today, I'm going to start Chapter Six: Coal and Petroleum. Before starting the chapter, we must have to clear the important topics related with this chapter. Through concept map, we can clear all these terms which is related with this topic, coal and petroleum. Then come to know about different terms related in this chapter, coal and petroleum. First, natural resource, natural resources, if anyone asks you, what do you mean by the term natural resources? You just see all materials obtained or present in the nature, in the nature called as natural resources. Coal, petroleum, all these are natural resources. So all materials that are found or present in the nature called to be as natural resource. Natural resources are categorized in three different types. One by one, we will come to know about all these three different types. Then let's start the different types of natural resources. First one is adjustable, adjustable natural resources, natural resources. Second one is inadjustable natural resources. And third one is Fossil fuel, fossil fuels. First question is, what are adjustable resources? Why the name given adjustable? As the name concern adjustable, these resources, resources are present are present in limited amount, limited amount in nature, in nature and can be, and can be over and can be over after repeated use of them repeated or continuous use used by human activities human activities second one is example for adjustable resources is fossil fuels fossil fuels minerals etc minerals etc second one inadjustable resources these resources are not present present in limited amount limited amount and cannot be of her cannot be of her even after 
continuous use of use of it by human activities human activities example sunlight sunlight air water etc these two type of natural resources they are just opposite to each other one adjustable it can be over because of their limited amount present in our nature and second inadjustable they are not present in limited amount their amount is very very large it never be over from the earth surface because of their renew capability it can be renew again and again and cannot be over last one is fossil fuel the question is what do you mean by the term fossil fuel the fuel formed after formed after million years years under high temperature and pressure under high temperature and pressure and pressure when buried when buried under the earth surface under the earth surface earth surface so question may be asked by the teacher that define fossil fuel fossil fuels are those fuel that we obtain from the surface of the earth it takes very very long time for their formation under high temperature and pressure they just changes into the fuel form named as fossil fuel one by one we will go through different types of fossil fuels 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 fossil fuels are also categorized in different forms coal first one is coal other one is petroleum and last one is here natural gas natural gas first question is coal what are coal how it is formed coal is carbon compound it is formed from the dead and dead and decaying coal is formed from the dead and decaying decaying vegetation under the surface of earth under the surface of earth for several million years several million years under high temperature and pressure under high temperature and pressure in the similar way petroleum also form by the same process only here sea organism dead sea organism buried under high temperature and pressure only difference here is petroleum is formed formed under the surface of of sea sea due to decomposition of
did and decay matter of sea animals only variation in the formation of coal and petroleum is vegetable vegetation part that is buried under the surface of earth causes formation of coal whereas the buried part under the sea surface for million years under the high temperature and pressure causes formation of petroleum last one is natural gas then question is how natural gas is formed in the same way we just see here petroleum natural gas is also formed it is formed by the decomposition decomposition of sea organisms under high temperature temperature and pressure for million years for million years come to know about the different forms of fossil fuel first one is coal and their types coal and their types coals are formed under the high pressure and temperature due to the composition of the vegetation different types of coals are first one is anthracite anthracite their percentage is here 90% 90% carbon content second one is bituminous bituminous having 60% of carbon content 60% of carbon content content and the last one is lignite having 40% 40% of carbon content here the main question is which one is the best form of carbon which one is the best form of coal and why and why as here the percentage of carbon content in anthracite is 90% this shows that anthracite is the best form of coal your answer will be here anthracite as it contains more percentages more percentages of carbon in them second question which one is the second which one is the list percentages containing carbon which one is the list percentage containing carbon coal what 
is your answer here? The answer is lignite. Very, very less. Lignite. And also mention here the percentage that is 40%. In this way, the question will be asked by the teacher. The next question. Because as it is, it is present in limited amount, amount in nature, amount in nature. Other question? Write the properties of different types of coal. carbon content in them one by one we will go through the uses properties and their percentages first one is anthracite properties are found in our surrounding. Their percentages 90%, 60%, What about anthracite? Shiny black very hard. Shiny black very hard. Very hard. Bituminous. What are the main properties of bituminous? Black in color. Color. Break easily. Last one. Brown in color. Brown in color. Soft. All these are the main properties of this these three varieties of coal because of their properties because of their carbon content they are categorized in the three different categories explain the process of formation of petroleum coal these are the questions of long type. The students, you must try to read the chapter thoroughly and complete the question answer of NCRT 